My name is Tanya Biller. I've been a patient of Dr. Lamb's for, it will be a year in July. I'm active every day. I'm either running, playing tennis, doing something in the gym. When my Halix rigidus was at its worst, I couldn't do any of those things. Walking the dog literally brought me to tears. So that's what inevitably pushed me to do the research to figure it out. The procedure I had was a Youngswick osteotomy to shorten the first metatarsal. The pain affected me physically from everything. Emotionally, it was super trying. I'm not being able to do the things that you normally do, how you function in your life, is really hard to take. I had two chylectomies done through a different doctor prior to Dr. Lamb. First chylectomy I had done, I had a bone spur removed, very common with Halix rigidus, and I knew straight away that it wasn't going to help because I had the exact same pain after that healed. So I was in severe pain, and it came on quite acutely, so it wasn't like it was this slow, gradual thing. It was kind of like I was fine, and then my cartilage was gone, and I needed to do something to get out of the pain quickly. So when I started researching about fusion, it completely turned me off. I just thought, how can your body mechanics remain the same or in a natural way, the way you're born, if I fuse my big toe joint together? That's when I started looking elsewhere for other alternatives for my Halix Rigidus. I found Dr. Lamb and his research made the most sense to me because it kept my foot alignment in the most natural state. It didn't burn any bridges, so if it didn't work, I could always go back to a fusion. Initially, I did not go see Dr. Lamb. Initially, I spoke to him over the phone and he was very reassuring. I sent him over my MRIs and my x-rays. He was very reassuring to me that he felt confident that he could use his procedure and get me out of pain, and that was my goal. So when I went in to go see Dr. Lamb, he answered all my questions, and he made me feel super comfortable that this was gonna work. Waking up after surgery was like any other surgery, and then when I went to see him on Thursday was the first time he unveiled this external fixator, and it's a sight to see, that's for sure. My external fixator stuck out the side of my left foot. Sometimes they're on top. It's a small device. I bandaged it up. I wore it out and about. I couldn't walk for great lengths, but I could put my foot up on a knee scooter and be able to walk my dog for a longer distance. I was told by Dr. Lamb to just go to the point where I felt it and then get it above my head, basically, and I did that for two months. I woke up one morning and I said to my husband, oh, I really don't have very much pain at all. Absolutely do your research, talk to Dr. Lamb, go in knowing what it's about, you're gonna be healed, it's a little bit of a longer process, but to me, well worth it to keep the biomechanics of your foot. My name is Tanya Biller, and I am definitely part of Lamb Nation. Dr. Lamb, you saved my foot slash life.